Okay, magic. What is magic? Well, it depends on who you ask. You might ask a stage performer what magic is. They'll tell you it's tricks, illusions. Sleight of hand. You might ask a Christian. They'll tell you it's of the devil. And to be avoided. <laughs> and uh, you'll understand why that's funny in a moment. But the most popular definition of magic was defined by Aleister Crowley. And he defined magic as the science and art of causing change to occur in conformity with will. And that definition is both accurate and misleading at the same time. See, it could be my will to have a turkey sandwich. I don't have to go to my temple and perform a ritual to get a turkey sandwich. I can just go to the fridge and make one. And you say, well, that's not magic. But it is magic. As defined by Crowley, I cause change to occur in conformity with my will. But see, that definition is both accurate and misleading. Because to the magician, everything you think, everything you say, everything you do, everything around you and everything within you is magic. And since everything is magic, it cancels itself out. Therefore, there's no such thing as magic. I personally don't even like the term magic. To be honest, it carries a lot of stereotypes with it. I might instead call it Oh, I don't know. Life? Maybe? You see, everybody performs magic, whether they know it or not. And that's why it's so funny when people say that magic is of the devil. Because they themselves are performing magic on a continuous basis without even knowing. And ritualistic magic at that in churches. And I've heard it once said before that every thought is a prayer and every word is a spell. And that's a fairly good starting point when it comes to beginning to understand what magic really is. So what's the deal with ceremonial magic if everyone's performing magic? Well, the magician knows how to control his magic by utilizing hermetic principles and higher laws to his advantage. That's it. As far as the basics go, you see, you don't have to dress in robes and perform rituals and get all the props and light all the candles in the dark room and conjure spirits to perform magic, the adept certainly doesn't have to. The adept can perform magic anytime, anywhere within his own mind and be quite successful at it. Now I want you to try something. Anytime you have a negative thought, I want you to treat it as an offer for you to either accept or reject. Obviously, if it's a negative thought, you're going to want to reject that. So you say, I reject that thought. You don't have to say it out loud. It's more powerful if you do. But you, know, you just say it in your head. I reject that thought. On the flip side, if you have a positive thought, you say, I accept that thought. And do that for three months. And start to see how much your life begins to change by that one practice alone. It takes three months because you still got incoming crap coming your way. <laughs> but after you reject the thoughts or accept them, stop thinking about it. Let it go. If they come back, reject them again. And by doing this, you'll start to condition yourself and train yourself to control your magic that you're already doing anyway without the need for ritual and props and chants. Those things have their place. 
and reasons, which we'll get into more a little bit later on. But you might say, how am I supposed to monitor my thoughts all the time? Well, just like anything else, it takes practice. After three months, it'll just become habit. And understand that this just isn't with thoughts. This is with anything that people say to you, anything you read, anything you hear. You might not be able to control your thoughts or the things people say to you or the things you come across or the things you hear. But you can flip the switch between yes and no. You can certainly do that and begin to take control. Now you'd be surprised how many people curse themselves by the things that they think and the things that they say and also the things that they do. I was one of them. See, I'm not talking about anything beyond my experience. I know one guy, I've known him since, uh, you know, we were teenagers. Well, I was a teenager. You know, he was early 20s. And I talk to him now on the phone, and the guy is the most negative person you ever talk to in your life. I talked to him for over, I don't know, I guess an hour and a half, and not one positive thing came out of his mouth. And I pointed it out to him, and he's just, oh, yeah, well, whatever, you know. But he spews negativity just constantly, and then he wonders why his life's shit. And I'm not talking shit as in just bad. I'm talking as in the most ridiculous things happen to this guy. You know, that defy all odds. <laughs> and you just it just blows your mind. But that's the magic that he's performing upon himself. See? Because everything you think and everything you say has a charge. And that charge is either going to be negative or it's going to be positive. It is either going to bless you or it's going to curse you. And this is just simple stuff, people. This is just simple, basic principles here. You know, when I have, I know a girl who's angry all the time, well, most of the time, you know, poorly aspected Mars, we'll get into that a little later on, but she has a lot of anger and violence returned to her. She took her kid to school one time, got out of the car, got hit by a bus. <laughs> and I shouldn't be laughing, but as she's laying there in the street, uh, an impatient lady who wanted to leave uh, got angry with her for laying in the street so she couldn't get out. So she got out of the car and started fighting with her. <laughs> and she's the one that ended up losing in court because she was too argumentative. See, so you got to get used to this idea that what you put out there is going to return to you. That's just magic 101 before anything else. And it's amazing how many people don't get this. So you're already performing the magic anyway with what you're saying and what you're doing so be attentive to what you're putting out there and in the next lesson I'm going to explain why this is why this all works the way it does and that's my cue see you next time